white rhino, huge, heavily armored, and hostile. This guy is built like a tank. Heavy as they are, they run on their toes, reaching speeds of 56 kilometers an hour. On the front, two threatening horns, up to a meter and a half in length. On its flanks, cross-linked fibers, like an impenetrable chainmail suit. But the soft skin on the belly is vulnerable, so rivals try to stay horn to horn. Most rhino jousts are won by the territory holder. But fights don't always work out as expected. In South Africa, an irritable young bull patrols a watering hole. He's aggressively territorial and not open to sharing his prime real estate. His eyesight is poor, and without a breeze, he can't detect the scent of the newcomers. He needs a closer look. It's a female, a possible partner. But she has a calf, just months old. She's not ready or willing to mate. So the bull sees them off with force. He drives the mother back and into deep water. With her belly exposed, the female rhino is now in serious danger. If the bull can find the weak points in her suit of armor, he could pierce internal organs. With his mother in trouble, the calf wades in from behind. One fiftieth the big bull's size, David takes on Goliath. It may not be much, but the jab throws the bull off guard. Tiny calf and massive male go head to head. Confused, the bull flees with the courageous calf in hot pursuit. It just goes to show you don't have to be big to win the fight. 